What is up guys, Zack Scott here playing Pokemon Omega Ruby for the Nintendo 3DS. This will be my second Pokemon game with the first being Pokemon X. I beat Pokemon X so I'm super excited to start off Omega Ruby. Thanks to what you guys do, my channel has exploded in popularity lately. In fact, the first episode of Pokemon X has over 11,000 likes and 1.2 million views. Thank you guys so much, I'd be thrilled if this video got anywhere close. Also, thanks for subscribing. I just recently hit over 1.2 million subscribers. You may have come from Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or you may have come from my Pokemon X series. Wherever you came from though, leave a comment letting me know which game made you subscribe, and thanks so much for being here. And now, without further ado, let's play Pokemon Omega Ruby. Here we go. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor, and this is what we call a Pokemon. Sure enough, it is. <laughs> uh oh, whoa, what? What is going on? This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon, at times playing together as friends, and at times helping uh, one another out. And sometimes we just like to have fun battling others like us. But as close as we are, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are still many, many mysteries surrounding Pokemon. Sure enough. I do research to try to unravel those Pokemon mysteries, but that's enough. <laughs> that's enough for me. I need to learn how to read faster. There we go. There's. Now, uh, this is going to be fun. I, you know I played Pokemon X, so let's have fun with this one. This is going to be great. What about you? Are you a boy or are you a girl? <laughs> All right, I think this is a boy right over here. And boy, I think I'm a boy. Will you give me your name too? Sure enough, I will. My name is Z... Uh, hmm. There we go. Z. Dog. There we go. Z Dog is my name. So you're Z Dog, yes. Ah, I see. Do I look like a Z Dog? I look like a Z Dog, don't I? You're that Z Dog. Yes, I am. You're, you're the one who's moving to Little Root Town, where I live. I guess so. I didn't know that. I wanted to move there if I knew you lived there. Just kidding. Are you ready? I'm ready. Your very own adventure is now about to unfold. Be courageous and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventures, and friendships await. I, I expect we'll be meeting again soon. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. Man, these, these word bubbles go by so fast. I guess typical players are speed readers. Or maybe they just don't read out loud. Maybe that's the trick. All right. What am I doing here? This looks so far so good. Uh, boom. The box is printed with a Pokemon logo. It's a Pokemon brand moving and delivery service. Excellent. It's an Azuril doll. It has a familiar smell. <laughs> what? Why does it have a smell? Let's go. All right. I'm stepping out into the world. Is that a turtle shell on my back? What is on my back? Am I a ninja turtle? Whoa, look at the sky. What's going on up there? All right. I'm new to town, I guess. Hello. Z-Dog, you're here at last. Wasn't it tough riding in the back of that bumpy moving truck all the way? Well, this is Little Root Town. What do you think? This is going to be our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it looks like it should be a nice place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room this time, Z-Dog. Come on, you have to see the inside. Well, I will. This looks, this sounds exciting for me. Got my own room. Who could ask for more in a town like this? Oh my gosh, what the? ZZ Dog, isn't it nice in here too? The moving company's Pokemon even help with the unpacking and cleanup. They really make moving a cinch. <laughs> 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 
Thanks for all the hard work. We really appreciate it. <laughs> oh, I better let them through. Jeez. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. No. <laughs> all right. You should go and see your new room upstairs, Z Dog. Dad even bought a new clock for it to help celebrate the big move. You'll need to set the time, though. Okay, I can I can set the time. That sounds fair enough. Things are looking good here. A movie is on TV. Two men are dancing on a big piano keyboard. Better get going. Is that is that big? Is that how it was that the movie? It's filled with Pokemon magazines. Pokemon Pal, Pokemon Handbook, adorable Pokemon. I'm just checking things out. I'm, I'm, let's see. It's an Azuril doll. It has a familiar... I guess that's where they put it. Up there. I think it is... Nope. I guess we're going upstairs. Hello. There's a map of the world. Z-Dog peered closely at the Hoenn region's town map. Oh, I guess I am peering quite closely. Yes. All right. Let's set up the clock. The clock on the wall isn't moving. You've got to set the time. All right. That sounds fair enough. Uh, okay. Okay, the hour hand was set to 23, and the minute hand was set to 46. All right. <laughs> How do you like your new room, Z-Dog? Good. Everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything in downstairs, too. It really is so nice having Pokemon around to help us. Oh, but you should make sure that everything's all there on your desk. Uh, I guess I should, shouldn't I? It looks, it looks good to me. Z-Dog's notebook is full of adventure rules he jotted down. Adventure rule number one, open the menu with the X button. Adventure rule number two, record your progress with save. That sounds important. I guess everything's on my desk. It's like, it's the one thing on my desk. Whoa, Snorlax. It's a Snorlax doll. All right. It's a Wii U. It has a gamepad with a screen. <laughs> Mom might like this program. Better get going. And this is my bed. And here's my trash. This trash can is empty. All right, what about these pillows? Nope, he's, he's more concerned about the Snorlax doll. Snorlax doll. Oh, Z-Dog, Z-Dog, quick, come quickly. Yep. It's the Petalburg Gym. Maybe Dad will be on TV. Interviewer. We brought you this report live from in front of the Petalburg Gym. Next up, a special look at a long-awaited meteor shower in the next star show. Oh, it's already ended. Looks like your dad was on, but we missed his part. What a shame. But that reminds me, one of dad's friends lives in this town. Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. That sounds like fun. I'll be like, hey, what is up, dad's friend? I love hanging out with my dad's friends. <laughs> Z Dog's house. Oh yeah, it's mine. It's no one else's. Not my mom's, not my dad's. It's Z Dog's house. Here's Professor Birch's house. What is up? Your house is like a mirror of ours. Oh, hello, and you are? Oh, you're Z Dog, our new next door neighbor. Welcome. We have a daughter about the same age as you. Yes. <laughs> she has been so excited about making a new friend. She should be in her room upstairs. I, I hope you'll go and introduce yourself. Oh, I will. All right. Next, narrator. On today's special episode of The Pokemon Whisperer, the dedicated Pokemon breeder Paul talks about special techniques for getting along with Pokemon. This is a must-watch episode for all trainers. Let's begin right away. When you meet a Pokemon, these things are very important. Tip one, talk loudly. Tip two, act sincerely. Tip three, capture its interest. Tip four, open up to it. With these techniques, any Pokemon will hop into the Pokeball you throw with just one try. Remember these tips with Taco. I'm more of a pasta guy though. Okay, see you next week. <laughs> Keep watching? No, I'm fine. <laughs> All right, well, I'm, I'm gonna check the fridge, see if you have anything delicious. No, I can't, I can't. Okay, let's just go upstairs and talk to this girl. Here we go. I came to the right place. <laughs> well, hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. <laughs> it's, uh, hello. Hi. Pokemon fully restored. Items all ready and... Whoa. Intruder alert. Huh? Who are you? the music 
Oh, you must be Z Dog. Your move was today, huh? Well, I'm May. Glad to meet you. I it, I actually have this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. And then when my dad, uh, I mean Professor Birch, told me about you moving here, Z Dog. Well, I was hoping you would be nice and we could be friends. But but that's just silly, isn't it? I've just met you, right, Z Dog? So what am I talking about? Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be your friend. Don't worry. Oh no, I forgot. I was supposed to be going out to help Dad catch some wild Pokemon. Z Dog. I'll see you later. All right. Now she has a white Wii U. <laughs> she doesn't have any like giant Pokemon dolls. How come I have like a giant Pokemon doll, but she doesn't have? She's like it's like a mirror. Oh, let's look at her diary. There are some notes on the page written in cute round script. This will be on the next test. Each Pokemon can learn up to four moves. Which moves uh, which moves you teach a Pokemon will show how good of a trainer you are. I don't know about that. I don't know. All right, well, I met, I guess, okay, hey, whoa. I'm gonna sit here with you. Is that awkward? No? Can I talk to you at least? Where is that husband of mine? It was so good of you to visit Z-Dog, and yet he's nowhere to be found. There are plans for a whole week's worth of meals. All right, get to get to working on the cookbook. Who's this? To think that you can get data from the friends you pass by even when uh, your Nintendo 3DS is in sleep mode. The power of science is staggering. Little Root Town, a town that can't be shaded by any hue. All right, <laughs> hello. Professor Birch will spend days on end in his lab researching something, then suddenly he'll go out into the field to gather more data. When does he ever spend time at home? Oh, this is his lab. This is his Pokemon lab. I'm going to go in here next. Let's check it out. Well, hello. Professor, is that you? Huh? You're looking for, for Professor Birch? The, the prof. So <laughs> the prof's away on field work. Ergo, not here. Oh, I guess I have to tell you what field work is. Field work is when you study things in their natural environments, like out in the fields and mountains instead of the laboratory. The prof is... <laughs> prof, the prof... The, why did they say the prof? That's so weird. The prof isn't <laughs> one for doing desk work, really. He's the type who would rather go outside and experience things than read about them here. He's probably doing a survey of Route 101 now. It's just outside of town. All right, cool. I'm going to check things out. Any diaries here? to read what's this it's a serious looking machine a detailed list of Pokemon that inhabit the Hoenn region is displayed on the map all right it's filled with Pokemon magazines all right same as my bookshelf I guess there are still some notes written in neat handwriting uh, in the notebook that's been left wide open could it be that several thousand years ago the Pokemon population of the Hoenn region was uh, even more diverse Hmm. I'm gonna sit here and drink my coffee. Now let's let's leave the little root town. Here we go. We're out of here. Well, this is fun so far, right? Am I right? Am I right? I'm right. Here we go. Oh, hello. I think I hear someone screaming up ahead. What should I do? What should we do? Someone has to go help. I'll go help. Help me! Uh-oh. Here we go. Look at all this stuff. Oh, that little guy is chasing him? Not a big deal. I'll grab your bag. <laughs> Hello! You over there, please help me out! It's in my ba in my bag. There are some Pokeballs. I got this. Here we go. There are three Pokeballs. Choose a Pokemon. Oh, no. I get to choose. Okay. There's the, the grass type of Pokemon. Trico. The fire type. Torchic and the water type Mudkip. Who should I do? What, what should I do? I think I'm gonna go with Torchic. Yeah, let's go with Torchic here. Here we go. Yes. I chose Torchic. Here we go. A wild pooch. Okay, go Torchic. There we go. Hello. What will Torchic do? Fight, of course. Uh, scratch, Growl, or Ember. Let's go Ember all the way right now. Here we go. Boom! Take that. Almost down all the way. A critical hit. 
The wild Pooch... Oh, man, I keep missing what it was saying. But here we go. That's Poochina. You're just going to fight and you're going to scratch. There you go. Boom. A wild Poochina fainted. Oh, sorry. Torture King, 24 experience points. Nice. All right. Well, I chose you. Woo. I went into the tall grass to serve a wild Pokemon when I was suddenly jumped. You saved my hide. Thanks a lot. Oh. But you're Norman's boy, Z Dog. <laughs> I didn't even realize who you were at first. You've grown into quite the young man. This isn't the place for a chat, though. Come along to my lab. Alright, sure enough, let's go. I guess I'm in there with him. Just having fun, just chilling out. So, Z Dog, I've heard so much about you from your father. But he said that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. If that's true, that was quite the performance back there. Looks like you really are your father's son. Oh yes, to say thanks for rescuing me out there, how about I give you that Pokemon you used earlier? All right, I got Torchic. Z-Dog received Torchic. While you're at it, why not give a nickname to that Torchic? Yes. Yep, that's the spirit. So, what, what kind of name do you want to go with? Let's see, we got T. There we go. That's the same, right? Sure enough. T Dog. T Dog, we're done. You know, if you work with your Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make a pretty excellent trainer. My girl May happens to be out on Route 103 right now surveying Pokemon for me. It might not be a bad idea for you to head out that way yourself. What do you think? Yes. Great. I'm sure May will be happy to hear that too. She can help teach you what it, mean, uh, what it means to be a trainer. Oh yes. And if, you, if you're ever lost along the way, use the area nav on your PokeNav Plus. You can use it to see how to get to Route 103 where May ought to be. And if you, get, uh, and if you or your Pokemon get tired, get some rest back at your new house. Sounds fine to me. That's cool, I can rest my Pokemon there. Well, I'm out of here. Professor Birch is studying the habit, uh, habitats and dis distribution of Pokemon. The professor enjoys May's help too. There's a lot of love there. Well, I'm gonna be a son-in-law soon. <laughs> All right, well, uh, she's at Route 103, which uh, I guess if I'm looking at my area nav here, uh, there's a Pokemon lab. How do I, that's, uh, okay, which, Route 103, so it's just north, it's just north, okay. We got this, we got this. Let me leave, just north and to the right, and hopefully I'll find her. All right, I'm gonna go be a Pokemon trainer of my own. This is super exciting, Route 101 is right here. And uh, Route 103, I'm assuming is up ahead. Uh, what, how do I get up there? Okay, hmm, there's someone hiding up there, what the heck? Well, how do I... Mm, I guess I have to cross. Probably this way. Oh, no! Here we go. A wild wormpole up here. Go, T-Dog! There he is. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna open up with an ember attack. <clears throat> Got him. He's gone! Super effective. The wild wormpole. Okay, goodbye. 24 experience points, I love this. Level six. This reminds me a lot of uh, Pokemon XY. Anything down here worthwhile? Guess not. What is up? If your Pokemon get tired, take them to a Pokemon Center. There's a Pokemon Center in Old Dale Town right close by. All right, maybe I will. And this is uh, probably the area I need to go to. Go straight up. And then route, whoa, Old Dale Town's here. Well, hello. Hi there, I work at the Pokemart. From what I can see, you're a novice trainer, am I right? Okay, being super kind-hearted as I am, I'm going to give you useful advice. Thank you. First of all, that's a Pokemart right there. Just look at our blue roof. We sell a variety of goods, including Pokeballs for catching Pokemon. I'd like you to have these as part of a special promotion. 
All right, potions, thank you. Potions can be used any time, so they can be very useful to have. And this is a Pokemon Center. Look for a red roof. Ask a woman inside and she'll restore your Pokemon's health. And that's it. That was the advice from me, the supremely kind-hearted clerk. Have a great journey. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Good start, right? Am I right? I think so. Hello, everyone. Lots of people here. Just as with people, there are male and female Pokemon, but the details of the differences can be tough to nail down. <laughs> Just like with people. <laughs> oh, did not mean to sit there. What, what are you all about? The AHA Pokemon journal on the shelf provides info that's different from other sources. It's different. True fact, according to me. All right. What are you? That PC on the corner there is for any Pokemon trainer to use. Naturally, that means you're welcome to use it too. Good, good evening, welcome to the Pokemon Center. Would you like to rest your Pokemon? No. We hope to see you again. Hello, little dude. I don't mean to keep sitting down. Pokemon Centers are great. You can use their services as much as you like and it's all for free. You never have to worry. I don't worry. Look me in my face. I ain't got no worries. All right, here we go. Well, that was great. Let's go in here and see what's up. This is Old Dale Town. Hello. Pokemon grow stronger by battling and leveling up. The stronger your Pokemon become, the farther you'll be able to travel. Sure enough, sure enough. Oldale Town, where things start off scarce. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I am going north. I want to take a rest, so I'm saving my progress. Potions can be used any time, so they can be very useful to have. Let's go in here, the Pokemart. Looks like, it looks amazing. The clerk says they're all sold out. I can't buy any Pokeballs. Darn, that's disappointing. If a Pokemon gets hurt and loses its HP and faints, it won't be able to battle. To prevent your Pokemon from fainting, restore its HP with a potion. Sounds fair enough to me, that sounds like a great idea. Here we go. And then uh, up north, I guess, is Route 103. And hopefully I'll find my friend here. And hopefully I don't encounter many more. Uh, no, uh, up, 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 up. I'm out. Where is she? Press the circle pad slowly to sneak close to Pokemon. Pokemon are less likely to find you while you're sneaking up on them. The book Professor Birch wrote, The Fieldwork 101, said so. Okay. Well, I'll be on the lookout for Pokemon then, huh? It's a water passageway right there. All right, well, let's keep going. And which way are we going exactly? Is that a Pokemon up there? <laughs> I like my sneaking abilities. No, that's not a Pokemon, that's, that's her. I'll, I'll still sneak up on her. Sneaky, sneaky, sneak up on you, sneak up on you, sneak up on you. Hello? Let's see, on Route 103, I found this Pokemon, and this one, and this one too. Oh, hey, Z-Dog. What's that? Oh, my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift, huh? Well then, why don't we go ahead and have a quick battle? I'll give you, it'll give you a taste of what being a trainer is really like. That sounds good to me. Let's find out what being a trainer is really like. You're challenged by Pokemon Trainer May. All right, Mudkip is coming out. Here we go. There's a Mudkip versus T-Dog. Water versus fire. I don't like that. I don't like my odds here. It's gonna fight. Let's just do a, uh, let's just do a scratch. I'm level six, so. No, oh, that wasn't very strong. Okay, tackle. Ouch. All right, good enough. Let's try a growl, see what happens there. All right, it's a tack fell, tackle. Not gonna be as strong then. Man, okay, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna see if Ember does anything against it. I don't think so. Well, it does a little bit. There, yeah, not much, not worth using it. Not very effective, tackle's coming back at me. Oh no! Okay, I really hope, here, we're gonna have to look at my bag. 
and uh, restore my HP. I have potions. This is good. T dog. I hope that doesn't count as a turn. It doesn't. No, it does. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, here we go. No, 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 don't look at my back. Fight, here we go, scratch, scratch, zing, scratch ya. All right, tackle again, come on. Tackle on T-Dog, no way. Gonna scratch Mudkip here. Uh, this is a big battle, this is a long battle. Tackle coming right at me. Oh no, okay, here, we're gonna fight again. Get a good one in, come on, scratch. Almost down. Oh, okay, that was four hits. All right, scratch, here we go. All right, fainted, there we go. I'm a pretty good trainer myself. 66 experience points, that levels him up. Level seven. All right, fantastic. All right, May, she's posing. Wow, that's great, Z-Dog, you're pretty good. All right, 200. Pokey coins or whatever they're called. <laughs> it was a good battle, thanks. Let me heal up both our parties real quick. Thank you, that that does that does me good, thank you. Your team's health was restored. Oh, wow, I think I know why my dad had his eyes on you now. I mean, you just got that Pokemon and you've already got that strong of a bond. I bet you could probably be befriend any kind of Pokemon you meet. Phew, I guess I'd better head back to the lab. All right, see ya. <laughs> Well, what do I do now? Do I go back to the lab too? I mean, which lab are you going to? What the heck? All right, I guess I'll head back to the lab as well. I can run. I'm gonna run through Old Dale Town. Squeeze me. Oh, there she is. Z-Dog over here. Let's hurry back to Little Root. Sounds good to me. That was my plan all along. Leaping lizards. The lab's here, right? Here we go, we're back in Little Root. Oh, Z-Dog, over here. Here we go. So I hear you beat May on your first try. That's amazing. May's been helping with my research for a long time, so she ha has a pretty long history as a trainer already. Mm-hmm, I think that settles it. Z-Dog, I ordered this Pokedex for my research, but I think you should take it. Yes, I got a Pokedex. That Pokédex is a high-tech tool that automatically records a record of any that, that, wait, that automatically makes a record of any Pokémon you meet or catch. My girl May takes hers with her everywhere she goes. Whenever she catches a rare Pokémon and records its data in the Pokédex, why she comes to see me, uh, seek me out wherever I am in the field and show me the Pokémon and people you will meet in a great expanse of nature that lies before you. Experience them both while you fill in your Pokédex. I'd love it if your world seemed wider than ever. Though I'd love it even more if you came back from time to time to show me what progress you've made. Ah, uh, I'm getting the itch to get out and do the field work again. Oh wow, Z-Dog, now you've got a Pokédex too. That's great, just like me. Then here, I'll give you something too. Some Pokéballs that you can use to catch some wild Pokémon. All right, I obtained Pokéballs. Z-Dog, okay, yep, got it. If you catch a Pokémon in the wild and battle together with it for a while, it will, go, it will grow stronger for you. Take that as a bit of advice from a more experienced trainer like me. I'm going to get ready to head out from Little Root soon myself. I can't wait to see what kind of Pokemon I'm going to meet. Let's both do our best on our journey, Z-Dog. All right, sure enough, that sounds good. The Pokemon and people, yeah, we, we talked, we talked about this. All right, thank you, thank you. Do you have anything new to say? I wonder where I should go to look for Pokemon next. That's a great question. I guess I'll be on my way. <laughs> All right, guys, well, that was a decent start so far, right? I guess now I must journey on and see what else there is to do, see what else there is to see. Guys, thanks for watching this first episode. You feeling okay, Z-Dog? You look a little tired. I think you should rest a bit. I think I will rest. <laughs> All right, now take care out there, honey. Well, there we go, guys. Again, thanks for watching. Be sure to come back next time. I'll be playing this series all the way through, just like I did with Pokemon X and Y. And uh, thanks for every like and favorite. I'll see you next time. Goodbye, guys. 
I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching. Check out more of my videos. And if you want to find me on your favorite social network, check the links in the description. And here's Otto. <laughs> That's Egon. Those are my cats.